Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with Cheryl Conley, Ford Futurist. So what is a Ford Futurist? Well, it's a really great uh, job. What I do is I look outside the automotive industry at big picture trends, things that are happening in social, technological, economic, environmental, and political arenas. And the goal isn't to predict the future because no one can do that consistently. But what you can do is look at how things are moving in those areas to understand what are the forces that will shape consumer values, attitudes, and behaviors in the future. So that gives us some insight into how we need to prepare for the future. So we've just seen the Ford Fusion. Mm -hmm. And now they are going to offer sync as standard because 84% of the people bought sync on their, on their machines before. Is that what you're talking about? That's part of it. So what we've talked about inside of Ford for several years now is something that we refer to as information addiction. And information addiction is a trend that we notice that consumers are growing increasingly reliant on having information at their fingertips in a just-in-time fashion. And the reason for that are many. One is that it translates into more opportunities, more control, more success, more influence of those people around you. And the more that proved to be true, the more reliant, the more hungry we become for it. I was talking to Jay Mays earlier, and he said that about four years ago, Ford made the decision to have premium vehicles and still at a, at a small cost to what the premium would be. Is that something you've seen, that people are looking for luxury just not as as expensive. Yes, I, I mean, what I think some people refer to as a democratization of luxury or technology. And the beauty of it is that it really fits Ford's heritage, right? Because Henry Ford, our founder, was this democratization of um, consumption. And he was the first person to say that, I want everyone to be able to afford a car. And so keeping in the spirit of that, I think that's been our approach in terms of this technology. When we came out with the Ford Sync some years ago, we didn't introduce it on a Lincoln vehicle or our top end of the of premium vehicles, we introduced it with a focus because we recognized that this would have broad appeal. I mean, it didn't matter what segment, what income bracket, that there were lots of functionality in use. Um, and so we have aggressively engineered and designed it to make sure that it's available across the portfolio. What's happened is that the consumer has become much more cautious, um, careful, conscientious about how they spend their money. Uh, so it's still emotional for them, but it's less spontaneous. It's much more thoughtful, deliberate, uh, well thought out So when you go to the marketplace. But we haven't lost our appetite for the finer things. 